Hey, welcome to back to uh, F and I Fuel Chat. We're gonna chat. My and I are gonna talk a little bit. <laughs> we like to chat. We like to chat. We chat often. So this is not really necessarily a question as much as it is really kind of a conversation because you know, just like you do things with customers every day, eventually you hear everything and then it all starts to repeat itself. So when you, you do what we do for a living, it's the exact same thing. You know, when you work with thousands of F and I managers, just like if you're delivering thousands of cars, eventually it's, yeah, it's it breaks problems. down into the same things, right? So I guess in my 30s or so, you know, I had been doing this for quite a while, trained a lot of people, worked with a lot of dealerships, and uh, used to make me – I would tell – I remember telling him when he was real young, and if, if one more person tells me the desk is killing me, I'm going to freak out, right? So uh, I, I had a morning where that actually happened where I freaked out. Oh, so, I remember the story. Yeah, this was <laughs> – now listen, I just got to put a little disclosure on this, Okay. This this particular situation occurred not just because me being tired of hearing this. The the people that were saying it had done this for like the prior five meetings we had done with them. So yeah, I'll set the stage for you. And again, the backdrop is, look, I, my and I have empathy for everything that F and I managers deal with. Um, there are certain things you deal with that are out of your control. Certain things you deal with that are well within your control. Uh, the ones that are within your control are kind of the ones that drive us insane, right? Because yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, it, it, because we can only say it to you so many times. Like, here's my problem. Okay, here's four ways to fix it, and then you don't fix it, but you, the problem still exists, and you want to tell me about the problem. Like human nature, it's okay. It's not taking a shot at anybody. This particular dealer had done that for a period of time, and the F and I managers were making me insane. Um, and plus, I was like, I don't know, thirty three years old, and. Uh, I just had a kind of a short, short. What do you want to call it? Short fuse with this kind of stuff. <laughs> We've sent him through anger management. Yeah, so I've, I've, I've passed. By the way, I'm all good now. So if those drugs are helping. So anyway, so here was the scenario. So I'm sitting. This is this. I set this up for you. You have four F and I managers on one side of the table, four sales managers on the other side of the table. Dealer sitting here, me sitting at the other end of the table, and you know, I, the the whole time I'm driving to this meeting, I'm saying to myself, please God, please. Don't don't let them say the desk is killing me because for the past five months I've been in this meeting and I've, it's like watching it's like watching a tennis match. The ball bounces over here. You guys are killing us. No, we're not. Yes, you are. No, we're not. Prove it. We can't prove it. Yes, we can. So anyway, I'd given these F and I guys ways to prove what was going on. Basically, their complaint was, look, the desk is sending the deals back underwater. I mean, we got to bump them to get them in the car. That, that's a legit concern. Yeah. Except when you as a manager don't do anything about that to help yourself, except go to this meeting once a month and bring it up. What are, what are, yeah. Okay, what are we doing? So, again, five times I've told them, and I'm not going to go through what I explained to them to do. That's something you want to know what to do in a situation like that. Talk to our boys. It's not a problem. They'll explain it to you. So, of course, we get to the moment, the meeting, dealer says, how do you explain this? And, of course, the one guy who is the one. is killing me. <laughs> the, the desk is killing me. And I go, I literally went like this. Oh. So everybody in the room looks at me. And I go, okay, excuse me. Let, let me stop the meeting. I just want to stop for a second. And I asked the F and I manager, now look, I'll never do this to you, so just don't worry, all right? I, I, was, I was in a mood. I asked the F and I managers to stand up. And they stood up. And I said, guys, I'd like you to empty your pockets. So they're wearing suits, you know. So they empty their pockets. Just put, just put everything you have in your pockets out in front of you, all right? So each one of them had, you know, stuff they had in their but money, right? They had cash and stuff. So I, I said, hey, how much cash you got? Counts it out, whatever. So give it to me. Gives me the cash. Next one. How much cash you got? Give me. Same thing. All four of them. Okay, so now I have all their cash, right? How much was it? 50, 70, 100, 20. Everybody got it? Cool. All right, I take the cash. I fold it up. I put it in my pocket. I grab my briefcase. Literally stand up and walk out of the meeting right to the front door of the dealership, and I'm going to walk out. I'm done. I'm out. Bye. <laughs> so check this Wait, out. Paid today. <laughs> so as I'm, like, they don't know what I'm doing. They're all watching. They're in glass. Everything's in glass. They can see me. I'm, I'm out. I'm like, bye. And I just leave with them. So one of the one of the F and I guys chases me across the damn showroom and says, hey, what are you doing? I'm like, I'm leaving. Well, give me my money. I'm like, no. 
And I said, good, I'm glad you did that. So I go back in the room and this, this again, I'm, I'm not proud of this, but you got to understand the context. I, um, I went back in the room. Even the dealer was like, what in the hell are you doing? I said, look, I just wanted to kind of make a point, okay? So you guys, I said, whatever the guy's name was, he chased me across the showroom, chased me across the showroom to get back the $26 that I took from him. But he's not willing to spend one minute a month to fix the $2,600 that's coming out of his paycheck because the desk is killing him. So I just wanted to prove to everybody that it actually matters. And when you get up and do something, you can actually stop it from occurring. I think she like it. I don't even think it's that mean. However, I will cost you guys. If you guys don't, that don't mean, do that. No, but if you ever try it, ask him to like, hey, put all your cash on the table. You don't want to see what's in their pockets. That may start a whole nother meeting, by the yeah, way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Got to be careful. I was now. seeing red, man. Yeah, it, was, it was. It was. All, but no, it's a good lesson, man. Look, if, if you feel like money's leaking out of your store, your dealership, it's costing everybody money. So stop sitting on your butt and waiting and actually go and address it. And guess what? It maybe not, it won't work the first time. You got to keep trying multiple times, but that's a cool story. Yeah. Thanks for joining us on our F and I chat today. And don't do that. Don't try this at home. <laughs>